I'm back with another video and today's video is sponsored by DSTV, my DSTV family. In case you don't know, I am part of the DSTV family. I was working on the hotspot segment on their YouTube channel. So if you've watched all my videos on this channel and you still want to see more of me and more of my content, there's no way. They can't be drilling right now. There's no way. <laughs> So if you feel like you've watched all my content on this channel and you want to see more of moi, head over to the DSTV YouTube channel and check out their hotspot segment. I have lots of content on there. I really enjoyed creating content for them, so definitely do check that out. We will be doing a review on a show called This Is Not A Burial, It's A Resurrection, which just came out to Showmax, which is an incredible film. The movie has won multiple international awards. The main character is Mary Twala, the late Mary Twala, may her soul rest in peace. If you guys don't know her, she's Tomizi's mother, great actress. Um, she's the leader of the movie, but I don't want to say too much as yet. If you want to find out more, definitely do continue watching. And of course, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the Gummy Gang. It is a vibe over here. And of course, don't forget to click the notification bell so you can get notified every time I post. Mary. Let's get into it. So the movie is based in Lesotho and it is also by a Lesotho director. And as I said, the main character is Umeri Tualam Klongo, the late Mary Tualam Klongo. May she rest in peace. She, I think, apparently this was her last movie role before, I mean, after Black is King, I think. So incredible performance at her age and like considering she wasn't in the greatest health. Incredible performance. I think this being the last film for her was the perfect way to leave her legacy behind. So shout out to her so the movie is about her living in a village in lesotho she's very old in age and frail so she fights to protect her community when they are threatened with false removals for construction of reservoirs in the village which means that they obviously have to be removed from that area i think it's a it's a very interesting movie um the director is also from lesotho and the director says that making this movie was very close to their hearts because they are used to being displaced because they did experience that growing up where they lived in Lesotho and then because of construction and people building in the community they had to be forced to move so 
I think the director lives in Berlin now, so I mean, shout out. But being forced to move and not feeling like you have a home is a big reason why the director wrote and directed this movie, and it did incredibly well, incredibly well. He says his heart never left, but obviously he had to leave. He says the main reason he wrote this movie and directed it is because of that experience, and he knows what it's like to be displaced and feel out of place and lost and not have a home so i think that's incredible that he took his life story and his experiences and he created this amazing movie and now he's a highly acclaimed director and writer so shout out to him it is an incredible movie so he wrote this movie because apparently this reservoir building keeps happening it is called the lesotho highlands water project if i'm not mistaken and it keeps happening where people are being forced out of their homes so that this water project can continue. So, and I think he also wanted to spread the word um, internationally so the world knows what's happening in Lesotho. And Lesotho is a very small country that no one really pays attention to. So I love that the film is about Lesotho and apparently it was shot in Lesotho and the cast was mostly um, people from Lesotho. So I love that the Lesotho culture is in the forefront of the film internationally. I absolutely love that. I love that the director's black, the cast is black, everything is black, the writer's black. It's just black culture being appreciated worldwide and the stories being told by us instead of people abroad coming here doing their research and doing the movies that side. It, it, it means more when it comes from someone who's from the place and knows it very well and has experienced what they're writing about. So I think it's absolutely incredible. I'm not surprised that the movie did so well. It, it had to, I mean, it had to. The director says not only do they lose their homes, their crop, their land, but they also lose their identity and their collectiveness as a village. Um, you kind of grow up in a village and you all get along and you become a family and then you kind of get torn apart and you lose everything you've worked for. So I definitely recommend you guys watch it. It is an incredible film. I loved it. I learned a lot. I mean, the city is like right next door to South Africa, but I had no idea this was even happening. And I think it was directed very, very well, very well. I'm very cinematic. The imagery, just great. And Mary Twyla being the lead role was nail on the head. They couldn't have picked a better, better lead. The rest of the cast as well is an incredible cast. He also mentioned that, um, in preparing for the movie and writing the movie, he obviously had to interview a lot of people in the Lesotho area and the villages that have been affected. And he says a lot of them equated the experience to death. How sad, like the fact that being removed from your home and your culture and everything you've, you've built and your family and all of that is like death is, oh, it's incredibly sad. And when I think about it and I try to put myself in the issues, obviously it will never be the same. I can imagine it feels like that because then where are you going to go? Like where do you go if you grew up in a certain place and that's your culture, that's your home? Where do you go? So I'm, I'm, uh, the fact that they went through that and they're still pushing, shout out to them. It takes a lot of strength and courage because I cannot even fathom that experience. So apparently the, this is the first um, Musutsu directed movie to make it internationally and it was the first um, Musutsu movie I think to be nominated in the or submitted in the Oscars if I'm not mistaken so that's incredible. That's incredible, definitely deserves an Oscar. I definitely, definitely do agree and when you watch it you will agree so shout out to that director and shout out to them making it that far, the Oscars from just shooting in Lesotho and I think apparently the cost was very, not the cost, I think cost and crew very small. I think they say it wasn't a lot of people. So it wasn't easy to make the movie. They did the movie and everything in Lesotho, very budgeted, but it doesn't even show. Like it doesn't show, it looks incredible. And for that to reach the Oscars, 10 out of 10. So I, I really urge you guys to watch it. I don't want to say too much. I don't want to ruin the movie. But please, 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 please do watch it. So I'm sure you guys are like, okay, we hear the movie. We understand. We got it. Where can we watch this movie? You can watch this movie on Showmax. If you don't have Showmax, I'm going to fix that today. If you don't have a DSTV account, Showmax is 99 Rand a month. But if you are a premium customer, then you get Showmax for free. So all you have to do is do the editable option. You link your account to your Showmax and voila, you get to watch Showmax for free. So if you have DSTV or your mom, your cousin, your uncle, your dad, 
your partner, whoever. You can use their accounts. You just use Editable, a link, their DSTV accounts or your DSTV accounts to your show max and it's free. You get to watch everything and anything. If you're a Compact Plus or Compact member, you get 50% off. So if it's 99 Rand a month, if that's the package that you've chosen for show max, then you will pay 50% off. Which is great. I mean, you get to have access to all these shows and you pay half the price. Girl, please. So all you have to do to get a Showmax account is go to showmax.com. You can sign up quick and easy, no contracts, very, very simple. Then once you've signed up, you can choose between Showmax and Showmax Pro. Showmax is 99 rand a month. Showmax Pro is 449 rand a month. So you can decide which one works best for you. But I repeat, if you're a premium customer, you do not pay a single cent. All you have to do is add to bill and link the accounts and you get to watch for free. If you are on Compact Plus or Compact, then you watch for 50% off. There's shows such as Temptation Island, Devil's Dorp, Succession, that's a show that I've really been enjoying. There's Insecure, one of my favorite shows, they have it all. So please, please definitely do check out Showmax, all the shows that you need in one place for your entertainment. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments down below and I'll try and answer you. But that is it from me today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please let me know if you guys decide to watch the movie. Let me know what you think. I really enjoyed it. Also, don't forget to check out my content over on the DSTV YouTube channel. I will link it down in the description box below. And of course, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the Gummy Gang and I'll catch you guys in my next video.